what's up you guys welcome back to my channel and to another fashion video my name is edwina and this is versicolor closet where we love all things colorful your girl has been sick so i think my voice is a little different than usual but we won't pay too much attention to that last year i shared a video of my collection of coats and i realized this year i amassed a whole other collection of coats so the coats that i will be featuring this year were not part of last year's coats so if you missed last year's video or if you don't remember then you can check that video out but these are fairly new they are pretty much all coats that I've gotten within the past year and as usual don't forget to check the description box because I will be sure to link coats that are either similar to the ones that I'm sharing with you or I will find the exact one if they are still available so without any further ado let's get into it so the very first one that I have is this Vintage Beauty from Yves Saint Laurent. So this is something that I've had for a good decade. This is the only coat or jacket that's not new in what I'm showing you guys today. I have a hard time even figuring out if this is really a jacket or if it's really a top. You guys already know how the quality of Vintage things are. So it can totally be a light jacket or I can wear it as a top or maybe throw like an oversized jacket over it. So what I really like about it, it's basically like a cargo style. It has like these four pockets and then it has like a drawstring detail on it. I have some makeup on it, unfortunately, but um, the back of it kind of mimics a trench coat, but it has like a split towards the back. And it is one of those things i actually didn't buy this i used to work at a doctor's office and thankfully i didn't have to wear a uniform and one of my patients was always so excited to see what i wear every day to work and one random day he came in and was like i got you a gift and i guess he took one of his vintage like saint laurent like jackets he told me this came out in like around 1969 or something like that I wasn't even born yet okay so for him to give me this like it's something that i've had like for close to a decade at this point and i have not worn it nearly enough but i know it's one of those pieces that i mean we'll never get rid of because of not just like the sentimental value of someone just you know admiring your style and gifting you something that you know you can't go and buy anywhere like for that alone like i love unique like i love unique i love unique what I love unique pieces that I know I'm not going to be able to find everywhere. So this is definitely one of those things that will be in my collection for a very long time. I wear it with like a tank top or something underneath because of the crisscross details. And then I usually pair it with jeans. Before this video, I actually tried it on with a pair of cargo pants that also have like the big pockets. And I feel like it was a look. So eventually further on down the line, I'll be sure to style this up and actually share it with you guys. But for this particular video, I'm not changing outfits. So if this doesn't actually match what I have on, just mind your business, okay? I'm just showing you guys all of the coats that I have and how they fit. This is coat slash jacket number one. Now let's move on to the second one. Next up, we have this trench coat. It is a color block trench coat from Target. This was from the Laline collaboration with Target that came out in the fall. I got this one in an extra small and it was 60 bucks. It is navy blue and then in the back, it has the cream. It is a really nice trench coat. I was so obsessed with the idea of it that I ended up getting it in the only size that they had, which was an extra, extra small. But when it comes to coats and jacket, I like to go up a size. So that's my only complaint with this. I really wish that I had it at least in an extra small so that it wouldn't be so fitted. I think because of that, I'm not necessarily able to wear it with like big, like chunky sweaters. But in the early fall, I guess that works because it's not warm enough that I would be able to wear it for like when it's like 40 degrees outside. So I think this is something that I will keep for a while because I really do like the color block aspect of it. I like the fact that it has pockets because nowadays I don't know what's going on. You'd be getting a lot of jackets and they don't have pockets and that's like a huge no-no to me. So yeah, I really like it. I like the 
contrasting detail, you know, even in the arms, it has some tortoise shell buttons, which are really nice. And yeah, I feel like the quality is really good and they paid attention to the details. It has like a button detail on the shoulders. When it comes to trench coats in general, I feel like it's one of those things that it's such a classic cut. Like you have to try really hard to get that wrong. So if you don't have trench coats in your collection, that is something I absolutely recommend because on warmer days, you can absolutely just throw this on as an added layer. And when you have them in interesting patterns and interesting colors, then you're able to add more interest in a classic way to your wardrobe. I'm pretty sure Target no longer has those available, but I'll be sure to check just in case. And I'll also look up some color blocked option for you guys. The next trench coat is this one from Amazon The Drop. You guys have totally seen this on my channel before. I absolutely love the faux leather details on it. Now, I've mentioned in the past that sometimes when it comes to getting jackets that have the faux leather details, it may be a risk only because I've had a couple of those where over time, like as the jacket like started getting older the rest of it looked nice but the full leather piece would start peeling so i'm actually waiting to see how this ages out over time but for now i'm absolutely obsessed with it i love the fact that it's really long like it comes like down to my calf and i'm about 5 8 so i think it's a great length i don't like I like the versatility of having like shorter coats and longer coats, like they all serve a different purpose. Like based on what you're wearing, I feel like it does make a difference. So I really like this one. It has the full leather lapels. It also has the full leather details on the sleeves and it also has a reversible belt. I like the fact that you can either go with the classic side or you can flip it around. That's really great. It has the classic like trench coat cape detail thing and it has some tortoise shell buttons as well. When we think of a classic trench coat, this is definitely it. I'm sure most people have them without the full leather detail. If you're trying to get one that has like an added detail to make it stand out, I really like this option. I see that Amazon The Drop Staples has the kind that doesn't have, you know, has a classic cut that doesn't have the full leather detail. So if you guys are into that, I'll be sure to link it for you. And there's also so many different sites that have classic trench coats without you having to pay like Burberry prices, for example. So it's really up to you. Like when it comes to quality and pricing, you kind of have to, you know, go with whatever works best with your budget and I guess over time you can upgrade. As I always recommend, it's totally best to shop these more expensive items during the off seasons because as they're making room for more inventory, everything gets discounted. So if you're looking to invest in more quality pieces, then I say look up websites that sell luxury and then go to their sales sections and see if you find anything that you, you know would be best for you to invest in. But overall, I really like this particular trench coat and I just like trench coats in general. As you can see, I have quite a few of them. These are fairly new because I've had other ones in the past that I've had to get rid of because the moment the quality is not good or it's not holding up well, then I get rid of it. So I'm glad I was able to fill this gap in my wardrobe. So again, check the description box for similar options. Next up is this purplish lavender trench coat. This is also from Amazon The Drop, but this is totally different than a typical trench coat because of the belted area. I love the fact that it has this adjustable belt that you're able to cinch in the waist with, and that makes such a big difference. What I usually do is I, I tie each piece by itself because I like to wear my trench coats open. So by cinching each side, I'm able to leave it open and then it's like snug to my body and i think that's so cute this particular one came as a matching set so it has matching trousers and that is such a look i totally shared that in previous videos and i'm sure if you guys follow me on instagram you've totally seen that it was such a great idea such a great concept when it comes to Amazon The Drop, you guys know sometimes these pieces come back in the just a few left section of the The Drop portion of the website. So always be sure to check there. And I would say like, don't 
don't like be afraid of getting coats and jackets that are not in your typical beige and black colors because i feel like that's what i did when i did my original coat collection video mostly everything that i shared was black and cream like camel and gray because I wanted to make sure that I had my basic coat. But the moment those were checked off my list, like I wanted to pay attention to things that had patterns and prints and just more vivid colors that would stand out, especially during the you know winter months, like you're wearing a coat that's really your outfit because whatever you have underneath is gonna be covered. So I feel like when everybody's wearing a black coat, you wearing like an orange coat, it's, it's the moment, it's the time for you to stand out, you know? So that's why I love wearing, um, you know, outerwear that have different interesting details and personalities. So yeah, this one, I want to say this was maybe like around $80 if I'm not mistaken. So Amazon The Drop really has pretty good pricing when it comes to giving you quality pieces at an affordable price okay this is the last one of the trench coats you guys have also seen this in my channel recently this was also from amazon the drop i was hesitating at first to get this coat and i'm so glad i got it because it's so different the pattern is so different i don't think that i've seen a lot of combination of olive and blue together and i feel like having pieces like this kind of inspires you to like put together looks even when you're not wearing this particular piece i think if you have olive green trousers and a different shade of blue in a top i think pairing them together it's like oh okay this was like a piece that can serve as inspiration on how to color block with other pieces in your wardrobe so i really really like this one it's just like the beige one that i showed before it has the pleather like lapel and it has the full leather detail also on the sleeves and on the belt it's really such a great piece it fits really well and they are true to size this is an extra small but it's oversized enough that like once you cinch it in it's it's a moment it's a vibe it's everything i really really love it and i was not even thinking of getting it i had originally placed the first order checked out and then i was like huh, i feel like this might be one of those things that i regret if i don't go back and get it and i'm so glad that i got it because it's everything and one thing that i have to say about this particular collection of amazon the drop like the pockets are so deep sometimes you get pockets that you can barely fit your fingers in but these pockets are big like you can fit your entire hand in there even if you're wearing gloves like i love a deep pocket so this is totally a plus i'm not sure if i can find anything remotely similar online but i will be sure to share whatever i can find okay next up we have this coat from michael kors this was gifted to me by my mother and i love this lady so much she just be knowing you know like we see eye to eye this is such a great coat and if i'm not mistaken it's probably the warmest coat that i own i am obsessed with it because of the fact that it's a great quality it's heavy is it made out of wool let me check it is 52% wool and 45% polyester. When I checked the tag, the original price, um, let's see. I tend to keep the tags, <laughs> I don't know why, but the original price was $500. That's a lot of money. We don't pay these type of prices around here, but it's always great to find like these discount stores that give you quality like designer items at a you know at a really good price so this one i believe my mom said it was under a hundred dollars under 50 bucks actually <laughs> so to think that you can get a 500 dollars coat under 50 bucks like that's a major steal i'm guessing it's a previous um season it's probably old and these discount stores that resell designer things they're trying to get rid of them so i'm so glad she got this for me because i've been wearing it so much like i said it's heavy it's really really warm 
and um, it's a neutral pattern. Although it's a, it, although it's neutral, it actually has a pattern that makes it stand out. I think that it pairs really well with cream accessories and camel. But because again, it's neutral, like all of my really bright like turtlenecks, whether it's red, blue, green, purple, all the things like this is the perfect coat to throw over these types of outfits. I love wearing it with my white Air Force Ones. I feel like it gives me dressy and also pairing it with sneakers gives you like that dress down vibe i really like that so this is definitely one of those coats that i think could last for a very very long time especially given the fact that it's oversized so even if i go up one or two sizes i think this will still fit and let me see it isn't an extra small but like i said it is very very oversized i'm in love with it and I did check online. I saw someone selling it, but I think it was like on eBay. So it may or may not still be available. So I'll be sure to link it if I find it. But if not, I'll just find other ones that have like a similar print and I'll share that with you guys. We are getting there. I am hot. These coats are so heavy. <laughs> All right, the next one is this one from Zara. This was from a collection that they had last year. It was a limited collection. When it comes to Zara, I was having this conversation with someone recently. A lot of the times, for those of us girls that love Zara, we all tend to buy the same thing. But sometimes Zara comes out with these like limited collaborations and the downside to them is that they're more expensive, but the plus side is definitely the fact that there's limited quantities and it is rare that you see those you know on the masses so for that reason i don't mind investing a little more especially if you're getting better quality but this particular coat is stunning like it has like black and cream and tan details on it i don't know if you guys can really see the the pattern on camera but what really makes it stand out is the sequence details that it has on the sleeves and another thing that I like about those details is that they're not identical on each side because the other sleeve also has them, but they have them closer to the shoulder. Meanwhile, the other one has them closer to the to the wrist. So that's really cool. Um, this originally was $399. I paid half of that. I think it was 50% off, so I definitely paid half of that. It also has that detail in the back and it has um, good pockets. They are the type of pockets that I'm not too big of a fan of only because of the fact that you have to flip them upwards to be able to put your hand in. I prefer when I can comfortably like pants pocket, just slide your hand to the side. But anyway, a lot of my coats are like that. I just think that's like an industry standard. So there must be a reason why they do them like that. But the Michael Kors coat that I shared with you guys that one actually has the perfect pockets because you literally can just slide your hands in so i think that makes that coat the perfect everyday coat this one i would also say is the perfect everyday coat but it's not as heavy so although i would consider this another neutral it definitely stands out and i think it's the perfect coat to wear like maybe with a little black dress with a colorful dress because it has the sequence i think that makes it appropriate for nighttime but i totally wear this to work and for any daytime occasions as well there are also more um sequins on the breast area here it has a belt that you're able to tie in it also comes with three buttons that go down but I never button it. I just crisscross the two lapels and then I tie it. I tie it really tight. So yeah, I, I mean, one of my prized possessions will not be getting rid of it. Off to the next one. Speaking of prized possessions, when this coat was delivered, I almost shed a tear because it was again one of those things that Zara had that was a limited collection. This thing dropped, and then within five minutes, it was no longer available. I put in my email to be able to get alerted when they would come back with, when if it would come back in stock. It came back in stock and I missed it a second time. And the third time I was like, uh-uh, I'm not missing this. So when it finally was delivered, I literally could not believe it. Like the fact that I own this, I literally have never seen this on anyone. I looked online on YouTube and there was one girl that I saw to a Zara haul that had this one, but I literally have never seen it on anyone. It has so many little details that stand out. Like this coat is what dreams are made of. If you're a fashion girl, like 
this coat is that girl okay so first it's a cream coat but then it has these flower details all over it i mean i, I mean that alone i feel like if that was just what it had that would be good enough to make it like an amazing coat but that's not it first of all they when you flip up the collar there's this random green color there and it's like why did y'all do that but also thank you for doing that like it doesn't go with the coat but i love it <laughs> like i think if you're not a fan of color you would not like this coat but if you're a fan of like standout details it's everything my hair keeps getting caught in these hangers but it also has like this really interesting um detail right here it's like this blue green little cut i don't know why it's there i love the fact that they added the sequence collar but the best thing about it is that it's removable because once you have sequins right at the neckline like that, this gets caught in your hair a lot. So it literally has these little buttons and you can remove it. A lot of times I remove it. Um, it does have the same sequins on the sleeves. Now, I have to admit that I wish that this was also removable only because like over time, I can already see like some of the strings from the sequence like lifting so that just tells me that this may not last like for a very long time but the good thing is is that where the sequins are sewn i could see a mesh underneath so if further down the line i decide to remove the sequins it's not directly sewn onto the wool so if i remove it it's not going to damage the coat so i think eventually i might have to only because i expect some of these sequins to you know just fall out because of the string that's literally as you can see like there's so many little pieces of string that are just sticking out but outside of that i think this was just such a great detail this coat was $399. That one was not on sale. I absolutely paid full price for it because to me, it was absolutely worth it. Yes, it does have pockets, but the regular like pockets that you can put your hands up in. And I got it in a size extra small. And that was also part of those limited collaborations with Zara. So, I mean this this is really just a stunning stunning coat and yeah i will never get rid of it so don't ask me to sell it because <laughs> i won't <laughs> another masterpiece is this coat by mango this one was i mean it's so good you can tell when a design is just thrown together and you can tell when somebody takes their time and designs something that's gonna be a masterpiece this coat to me is a masterpiece like first of all the color i mean can we have a moment of silence for the color the color is just too good okay and then it has this little pocket on the side it's sideways like it's slanted for what reason i don't know but is that not like chef's kiss i love that then they added one of those flip up pockets that i don't like but you know what they had the nerve to do they give me pockets on the side of it so i have the unnecessary pocket but it gives me the convenience on the other side and then when you look at the other side of the coat there isn't one of those big pockets i love symmetry but i also like asymmetrical things also like the other side of the coat is not the same but it also has you know another pocket on the side like this coat is everything it is really long it comes close to my ankles so when i say long it's really long and i'm 5 8 so yeah it it stands out so when i check the mango site now everything i see is beige and black and brown so i think I don't know what happened like this was maybe a once in a while thing that they had this colorful coat how much was this i want to say it was 400 dollars also did i pay that i can't remember um but whatever i paid for it i can tell you it was worth it the amount of compliments i get every time i wear this coat like you cannot wear this and not be noticed like it's it's so good it is so good like i don't know when i became this coat lady and for someone who absolutely hates winter like why do i have all these coats but i mean they're so good how could i not 
they are so good and they allow me to bring out all my fancy brooches like an old lady okay so i'm here for the brooches i'm here for the coat they are everything this one the fit is immaculate i know sometimes i talk about getting oversized um, coats because of the fact that you can layer things underneath but this cut is supposed to be like a fitted blazer like it fits like a fitted blazer and it's so good but it's also not tight so i think i can keep it for quite a few years and just oh my gosh it's so good like the color is everything i could ramble about it for so long but yeah get you a lavender coat i think it's gonna you know take you far i wear this with pink i wear it with neutral things i wear it with black you can wear it with like a turtleneck like dress and just let the coat stand out like when you're wearing this like a, a statement coat like that you definitely don't have to do too much underneath but i've also worn this with a full lavender outfit underneath and just threw that on it, it's it's a vibe it's a moment it's everything <laughs> so yeah love this coat all right new in this one just made it to the collection i got this on black friday it was originally 189 dollars and zara had 40 percent off so i've been looking for more like colorful coats but at this point y'all i don't even have enough room so i got the i'm showing you the last two these are new in but after that i think i'm gonna have to take a break because i, I don't have room <laughs> and i don't see any of these coats being worth like getting thrown out like no they're all so good like the quality is good the fit is good so yeah there's no need to get rid of them if i'm not getting rid of anything then i can't bring anything else in so i don't know let's see if y'all can hold me to that this particular coat is from zara so it is 75 percent wool i expected this coat to be a little heavier i have the same type of coat from zara in the tan color and it's so much heavier so i'm not sure if they just did the same cut and then didn't use as much fabric i'm not really sure what the thing is but i love the color so much that i'm not returning it because of that but i expected it to be like of better quality not that the quality is not good i just like when the coat like feels heavy like this is really lightweight i think these type of coats they work for when you're wearing something really chunky and if it's not that cold outside you don't want a chunky coat and then chunky outfit so i think this will work fine for let's say you're wearing a chunky sweater and then you throw this coat over it and then it's like let's say 40 maybe 30 to 40 degrees anything under that I would go with a heavier coat because this will not really keep you warm if you're going to be standing outdoors for a very long time. So other than that, I really like it. It has black. Um, oh, these they're not even black. They're, they are really dark like tortoise shell. I thought they were black, but yeah, they're definitely tortoise shell buttons. And they have the typical pockets that we don't love. And there's a split on the back i mean it's the green this is the bottega green that everybody loves and it's so good and like i mentioned before this is the type of coat like you guys see how it looks with the blue outfit that i have on like it's giving you a good color block moment but i could see me wearing this with something olive i could see me wearing this with let's say i'm wearing yellow and i want to look like the brazilian flag you know i think you can color block really well with this or you could use it as your pop of color if you're wearing neutral outfits whether it's all black or black and cream or, or um beige or whatever like all the shades of tans that there is out there this will definitely be the perfect pop of color in the fall and winter <laughs> I thought I had one coat left, but there's two. Okay, this one just came in a day or two ago. It is from River Island. I saw this online and I was like, immediately, yes. So this one was, let me see, a hundred. It was a hundred something. I want to say maybe like a hundred and eight or something like that. The color is everything. Quality wise, it's definitely not as great as a Zara coat. I will say that. It's giving me really lightweight. This material is definitely not wool. Uh, let's see. Okay. I don't see the composition of it, but this is definitely not wool. It's definitely the type of coat, again, just like the previous one, that you could wear in 30 to 40 degree weather. Anything under that, you'll need something warmer but i love the length i love the color they actually describe it as orange 
uh i want to say it's more it has more of a yellow undertone to it if in my opinion it might come up different on camera but uh the color is everything the length is also really good what i don't love is this button that they have it's not really like a an actual button it's like you know this type of um thing that they it's i mean it is a button i guess but it's like the way they sew it you can tell that it came and one of the strings are already coming out so this one is still available so i'll be sure to link it but keep that in mind if you're looking for something that's like excellent quality this is probably not it but if you're looking for a yellow slash orange coat to make a statement at an affordable price i would say then i recommend it it's a beautiful coat it has it does have pockets and what I really do like about it is this added detail over here. This is not a pocket, but it has like a line, like it's a pocket and it's right on top of it. So yeah, really, really like it. I think this is definitely a color that was missing in my coat collection. I'm obsessed with it. And another thing that I love to do with these type of coats is like drape it over my shoulders. And I feel like this one, although I got it in a size, I think I got it in a UK 8. River Island is from is in the uk so it will take a while for you to get your order it took almost two weeks i want to say it drapes over your shoulders really well definitely a statement maker and totally affordable so if you're looking for coats around the hundred dollar price range totally check out river island they have quite a few options there are some that are more expensive i don't know if those are made out of wool but either way there's definitely color blocked options i saw one that had this color with like a camel like lapel it was stunning but i wasn't trying to go too crazy i already told you i don't have enough space okay <laughs> so yeah this is a really really nice coat if you're looking to incorporate more like long line coat this is definitely one of those that is it reaches close to my ankles if you're on the shorter side like if you're really petite i think this type of coat will definitely be floor length for you so if you're into floor length coat then this is for you if you prefer a shorter like knee length type of coat then this will not work this is the last one for real this time this coat is everything i mean i know i say that about everything but i mean aren't they everything this is so good okay so this coat is a designer coat it's by karen mellon when i checked the price of it it was like 650 dollars but your girl over here does not do that so you guys know how i've talked about sign blake and her amazon the drop collection well this girl has real fashion and real style in her closet and sometimes she likes to do closet sales so she was selling this on instagram and she posted it and within 10 minutes i had already checked out i was like i need it it's mine and within 10 minutes she told me she even said that she thought it was a scam because it's like literally the moment she posted it i hit purchase so yeah i am obsessed with it she sold it to me for i would say a third of the price and i'm really happy about it it's not black i don't know how it's coming up on camera to you guys but it is navy blue and once you take navy blue and you add gold details i mean she is that girl okay so it has the golden like dot detail on the neckline it has it on both sleeves as well along with some golden buttons i mean it's you can tell why a coat like this would be the price that it is it does have this nice detail in the back as well and it has pockets i think th as much as i like to wear my coat open though i feel like this style of coat has to be worn closed because the way the button like come up to the side it just i just feel like it's better when it's closed but either way it's a stunning coat i love the fit of it it's really fitted this was a uk size six typically when i'm ordering from the uk i'm a uk size eight so this is definitely fitted but i think naturally with coats they make them a little oversized so thankfully this worked out perfectly for me another thing that i noticed it, ha it has like this little bit of a curve to it so it's giving me shape and anything that makes that gives me hourglass vibes given the fact that i have a straighter body it, it, it i mean it's everything i am obsessed with this coat and i'm so glad that i was able to get it and not have to pay full price for it it's pretty much brand new to me it's it's the quality is everything uh let's see 
this it says that it is made out of 62 percent wool we'll we'll take that it's it's so good it is so good so that is it you guys that is my entire coat collection well this is part two of my coat collection if you want to see everything on part one i'll be sure to link that here for you if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe as well and i'll see you guys in the comments where you let me know which one of these coats is your favorite thank you for watching i'll see you guys next time bye Myself wondering, what did happen to the last ten? I ran away with.